Hello, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Drupal 7 installation, how to make a, a minor upgrade. My website uh, uses Drupal 7.14 and I'm going to update it to Drupal 7.21. I'm going to use FTP this time. Uh, I don't have the access key for the, the SSH on my laptop, only on my uh, office PC. So uh, we're going to do it the FTP style. I already downloaded the, the file from the Drupal website. This is the file. And I extracted it. This is the folder, Drupal 7.21, and here is the first installation. Over here, this is uh, on the FTP, that's my website. And first uh, thing you want to do is read the upgrade text. It's uh, always a good thing. You don't want any surprises with your uh, website. You want it as smooth as possible and fast. So uh, I already read it, but in every upgrade you should read it because sometimes there are there are changes in some files, and it will be mentioned over here in this file. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Minor version updates. Sometimes an update includes changes to default settings PHP. This will be noted in the release notes. So I, I already read the release notes for this uh, upgrade and it's not mentioned over there so I can skip section 3 entirely. Let's do it. <coughs> this is my website. It's in Hebrew but you can still follow along. I'm at uh, admin config development maintenance and I'm going to put the website on uh, maintenance mode. I wrote some uh, sentences, we're sorry, we have uh, some kind of function. Saving. I have uh, lots of updates missing. I was kind of lazy. This version 7.20 had some kind of warnings in the release notes. So uh, I didn't want to upgrade. And I waited for 7.21, it should be easier. I have all the contributed models already upgraded. Everything is green. Let's do the upgrade. Okay, first of all, this is the local folder on my laptop with the Drupal 721 installation. First of all, you need to remove this file htaccess robots.txt and the sites directory. You already have that on uh, on your server and you intend to use them. You don't want to override them, so just delete them. What else? Let's go to the FTP. <clears throat> and basically, you need to delete uh, every file and folder that is related to Drupal. And uh, on your FTP, you have some files and folders that are not necessarily related to Drupal, so be careful. 
um, you can uh, just you know uh, if you don't know the files by heart you can just if you have uh, an FTP client that can compare directories uh, it will be great but if not you'll have to do it manually I think uh, I remember most of the libraries and files includes misc models profiles scripts themes include misc models profile scripts themes yep and then all the drupal files i need to be careful not to take out this file for example because otherwise Bing won't uh, be able to scan me okay let's start this one and this one and this one and this one and this one Yeah, can compare it. This one as well, and this one. Oh, those two as well. Okay. All the rest are going to stay. Most important, the site directory. Delete. Okay, the deletion process is over. Now I can copy all these files via FTP to the server. Again, it's it's a process. Uh, it depends on I don't know your connection to the internet. If you have SSH connection to the server, you can initiate a download of the entire arch archive directly to the server and uh, then your connection to the internet doesn't even count because the server does all the processing and downloading so uh, I'm not sure about the calculation of 12 minutes I guess it will take maybe four three <laughs> uh, I'll see you in a while okay the copy process is over and we can continue to the next step uh, next step is to go to your Drupal website and go to update PHP and you get this screen you have nothing else to do but hit continue
I always copy this text to a notepad just in case I need some clues later apply Now it's a good time to cross your fingers and pray to whatever God you choose. Okay, lots of blah blah blah. I think uh, this error is not related to the upgrade. I get this error from time to time whenever the Drupal is trying to fetch all the models, all the information about models that needs to be updated. I'm not uh, convinced it's related to the upgrade, but we'll check it out. Okay, Drupal is saying that it's 721. Should be okay. Let's check the uh, last messages in the log. Blah, blah, blah. Everything looks okay so far. Let's see what uh, the Drupal says about the updates it has. Check manually. System is checking for updates. Wow, everything is green, nothing to update. Drupal Core, 721, updated. So the next stage is just uh, take this out, out, site out of uh, maintenance mode and uh, surf the site a bit just to check that everything is uh, is okay let's run a, a cron oh so maybe this error was not cosmetic after all let's try it again the update um, it shows 721 but on the other hand it shows that it wasn't updated this is the weird side of Drupal 2 o'clock in the morning okay that is looking much better 5 out of 5 completed and uh, let's check uh, the log now Let's cron run the cron again.
Okay. Now it looks much better. Seven twenty one. Sweet. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck.